So you need to straighten your teeth. Thinking about Invisalign, let me tell you all about it. If you've used Invisalign, leave a comment below. Let me know about your experience. Even if it wasn't Invisalign, if there was another type brand that you used, clear aligners to try and straighten your teeth or close your bite, let me know. If it was really complex case, let me know. Just wanna know your experience. Pros and cons for clear aligners. And please wait to the end. I've got this really cool couple cases to show you how Invisalign can be quite effective if you have teeth like this. So wait till the end. Well, traditionally you move teeth with braces. There have been braces on the inside, braces on the outside, metal rings that go all the way around your teeth. Check in with those older folks. And probably some of the newest, coolest is Invisalign. It was the first biggest company to say, hey, we are going to only focus on producing plastic trays that could sequentially move your teeth. You're like, well, how can this sequentially move your teeth? They take a 3D scan, some people are still doing impressions, and they print models. The models don't look like this, but this is a model, right? They print the models, 3D print. And they print those models after, so they have the original models with the way that your teeth look currently, so really janky, crooked. And then through digital software, they move the teeth around digitally and then print all of the different models that slowly you see your teeth change. And then they make these retainers, basically that's what they are, on those different models. And now you have a set of, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, maybe less, maybe more of these trays that if you wear them, sequentially, they should apply pressure to move your teeth towards the desired end result. Okay, so that's what Invisalign is. And uh, as you can tell, right, this is like, well, does this stick to your teeth? No, it's a removable tray. It comes in and out. If you don't wear it sufficiently, then you will not get the movements, all right? Think about the braces. The braces stay on 24 seven, literally. You don't take them off, some people do. You shouldn't take them off. They can break, but assuming that you aren't breaking them and you aren't taking them off, they stay in your mouth. Versus the Invisalign, there will always be the temptation to take it out and leave it out. You know, a lot of responsibility with this thing. If you want to get the results like the braces, then you need to treat them in some ways like the braces. Okay, so that's generally how the Invisalign works. And a lot of other companies nowadays, you know, people are casual in the way they refer to it. Hey, is that Invisalign? And it's just a clear plastic that looks like Invisalign, but it's not necessarily the same brand. There's different companies like SureSmile, there's Ormco brand, lots of different big dental companies now are producing tons of plastic trays because that's the newest thing. And then people are interested in plastic. There are also direct to consumer products like the recently dethroned and trashed Smile Direct Club. Right? They're no longer existing company, but there are other companies like Bite. They send plastic straight to the consumer, right? You don't go through a provider like a dentist or an orthodontist to straighten your teeth. You just try to straighten them at your house with no in-person visits. And that's not what this video is about, but anyways, I don't recommend that. So that's the Invisalign that we use here in this office and a lot of people use, been around the longest. Okay, more and more orthodontists are using the Invisalign to treat more complex cases. As we've gone through, more and more research has come out. There are definitely still a lot of marketing claims associated with Invisalign that aren't necessarily accurate, but there's lots of marketing claims with everything. So always ask questions, even your healthcare providers. Don't just jump on the bandwagon for the newest, coolest treatment or technique because, you know, it may just be trendy and not so much scientifically based. Anyways, that's kind of besides the point too. Anyways, part of the Invisalign that you can get is, I don't know if you can see it, you know, they go around your teeth, but then sometimes you can add what we call these little attachments. See, this is a tooth, right? And it's got a little bump on the white bump on the side of the teeth right there. See that? Anyways, that bump is called an attachment. And the orthodontist, at least people who know, probably use things like that to help control. Think about the wires. Can't move your teeth without brackets. Well, plastic can move your teeth without the attachments. It's just if you want to have more surface area to control the tooth, more predictable forces, then you probably need some sort of attachment. Otherwise, and that's what the direct-to-consumer products, they can't offer attachments, right? And so you're just plastic trying to push teeth. Sometimes it works depending on the movement, how complex it is. You may not get what you want. You may not get that ideal orthodontic position. So anyways, that's what the aligners are and that's what they offer. You are their removable plastic sequential 
you switch them sometimes weekly, sometimes every two weeks. You're like, how many do you get? Well, it all depends on your case. It depends on your provider. If you're not very good at wearing them, you might not get very, very many at one time. In my opinion, there are challenging movements associated with plastic, right? So if you have a tooth that is really high up in your gum, right, and you're trying to pull it down, it's called extrusion or pull it up out of your mouth. That is a tricky movement just with plastic. Probably need some rubber bands, which is not crazy. You use rubber bands for braces. Additionally, sometimes it is very challenging to fix very deep bites. What I mean by that, we are literally talking about overbites here. So if your top teeth come way down here, check out our other videos, past your bottom teeth, not necessarily in front of your bottom teeth, but down past it, it can be really challenging to get that to open up unless you have lots of crowding on the bottom. And so that, that can be tough. It's tough for braces, but braces are a little bit more rigid. Sometimes you have to use things like screws or just other things that orthodontists use to help fix that. So teeth that are extruding or deep bites, sometimes, and this is tricky, sometimes teeth that are really twisted on the sides, really round teeth, like premolars or canines, those can be hard to move around. Even with attachments, they can still be tricky. I've seen some really cool ones. Listen, in all of those cases, I've seen some deep bites be resolved with Invisalign. I've seen some extrusion be resolved with the Invisalign and rubber bands, and sometimes without. And I've seen rotations resolved. So it's not that it can't, it's just I've seen Sometimes it struggles, and especially if you're not good at wearing the trays, you're definitely gonna struggle and not get the results that you want. But there is one type of case that I wanna show you. It's fantastic. Okay, Invisalign has been shown with some rubber bands, again, not crazy because you use rubber bands with braces, to be very effective at closing anterior open bites. What that means is that your bite in the front, you should have overlap. Your top teeth come down past your bottom teeth, just not so deep. We don't want you to walk around like this, okay? Like this, you have some overbite. Well, if you are like this, that means your teeth in the back are probably touching and don't allow your front teeth to touch. So the Invisalign with maybe some rubber bands can help close those bites very effectively. Check out these cases. All right, so here's the case. First case, we're still working on right now. We've had other cases like this, but I just saw this one today I wanted to show you. This is called an anterior open bite. That means that our front teeth are not touching. So if you have teeth like this, right? Invisalign might be a great option for you, assuming, again, you can wear it. <laughs> okay. Now, with the trays, in this case, we have not used any rubber bands yet. Our goal is to try and take these teeth in the back that are touching and push them up, and these teeth on the bottom that are touching, and push them down. Same thing on this side and this side. And if you get rid of those parts that are touching, then in theory, this area in the front should be able to come together. Your lower jaw can swing forward into a more closed position. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So you can see the difference, right? We went from quite a little bit more open here and here, and, and even in the front right here, and now we've come together, and this is just wearing trays. Look at all these bumps we talked about, right? These are the attachments, right? This is what helps control and apply more pressure to certain areas of the teeth, right? So a fantastic case. Here is another case, even more stunning in my opinion. Wait for this one, here it comes. Okay, check it out, look at that. That is a significant open bite. In fact, it even goes open all the way back to the canine and premolars, look at that. So basically all these, these teeth in the back are touching it and all the teeth up in the front aren't touching. We do have a little bit of space. Anytime you're trying to close a bite, right? It's always helpful if you can close the space and pull teeth back. Okay, let's see the results. Look at that, you're like, is that even the same person? Yes it is, this is Invisalign trays plus rubber bands. Well, that's the force that we applied. We pushed the teeth here, here, and we used rubber bands connected here and here, here and here, and we pulled these teeth together in the front, right? This is a fantastic result. We did it with Invisalign and rubber bands. Not crazy, I loved it. Now those patients are really good at wearing the trays. So listen, again, if you, are thinking about Invisalign, or if you have an anterior open bite, in my opinion, that is a great case. If you're really good at wearing the trays and willing to wear some rubber bands, perhaps you can get some great results, like you saw right there, fantastic. But those are keys. If you're not compliant, not gonna work. Don't do it, do the braces. And it's not that Invisalign can't work for other cases too. I have used the Invisalign and it can work effectively, but you just have to be committed. One thing I didn't say, oh, sorry, gotta remember this. This is probably the same with other clear aligner brands is one of the downsides is braces can be mostly continuous. I mean, you just, you get the braces on, you continue through the process, make your appointments. Well, with the Invisalign, one of the nuances is you get through, let's say you get 20 trays. That doesn't mean that you're gonna have all your teeth fixed in 20 trays. Maybe, depending on how complex it is, more than likely there's still gonna be movements that are required. So you gotta get more trays, another set of trays. Again, that's not crazy. We do something like that with braces, but you just have to be ready. In order to make those trays, you've got to not start over, but basically pause, order new trays, and it may take a few weeks 
to a month or more to get those new trays and you can continue moving those teeth. So if you have questions about that, ask below. Like I said, Invisalign or maybe other clear liner brands can be a great option, particularly those with open bites or if you're just like, no way, Jose, I'm not doing the braces. If you know somebody who is considering braces or Invisalign or has an anterior open bite, share this video with them. Better yet, come find us in our office here at McKinney and Anna, Texas. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got, just a little PFO in so you know where you're going. Pack it out.